And the special envoy to Japan was the first to embark on President Moon's diplomacy mission. Upon his arrival in Tokyo on Wednesday, Moon Yi Sang explained the public discontent in Korea over the 2015 agreement between the two nations on Japan's wartime sex slavery. Shin Semin has more. Two of five special envoys of South Korean President Moon Jae-in departed on Wednesday to partner countries to discuss pending issues and possible summits with the new tenets of South Korea's presidential office of Chawade. President Moon's special envoy to Japan, Moon Hee-sang, who left for Tokyo earlier in the day, met with Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida Wednesday afternoon, during which the South Korean lawmaker made clear that most of the Korean public cannot accept the Seoul-Tokyo agreement over the South Korean victims of imperial Japan's wartime sex slavery struck in December 2015. We can't carry on with an agreement that nearly all of the Korean people cannot accept. The presidential envoy is also reported to have proposed that the two countries wisely overcome the problem based on statements of apology released by previous Japanese prime ministers. Japan's top diplomat is not reported to have made any comments regarding Moon's remarks. Seoul's special envoy and Kashida did, however, see eye to eye on the need to work together to resolve North Korea's nuclear problem and focus on future-oriented relationship between the neighboring countries. President Moon's envoy to China will depart on Thursday, and the remaining delegates to Russia and the European Union will follow suit next week. And the dispatch of such special envoys is of vital importance to establish a sound base on foreign alliances in the new administration. The uh, foremost important thing we have to do is to let them know what the new government's ideas about their policy is about. That's the starting point, that two countries can find the differences. But just knowing what the President Moon's uh, foreign policy direction is about is something that they need to know first so that we can fill up the gap and differences in our relationship with uh, the U.S. and China and so, and so forth. With the first special envoys heading toward their respective destinations, questions linger on whether they can pave the way to solving some of the grave pending issues left by the previous administration. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.